Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'm going to be giving you my full overview of Android 5.0 Lollipop running on the Nexus 4. Now you guys may be wondering if I've already done one of these before, and to some extent I have, but the previous video that I did was actually just a port from the Android 5.0 developer preview for the Nexus 5 mashed up with the Nexus 6 leak. This, however, is not a mashup of anything. It is the official 5.0 Lollipop as Google intended for the Nexus 4. Now, I have flashed the factory images straight from Google site, so this is a clean install. And for those of you who may be wondering, this is actually a skin you're looking at on the back of my Nexus 4 available at dbrand. I'll leave a link to their site down below where you can get it for yourself. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on into it. So after flashing Android 5.0 Lollipop on the Nexus 4, I gotta say that it's running really smooth. It's actually running a lot smoother than I anticipated. I thought because of the older hardware mixed in with the newer software and the animations and transitions, it was going to be bogged down a bit, but boy was I wrong. This thing is actually running quite well for it being uh, about two years old. And I gotta say that I'm really happy with Google's decision to actually update this device to the newer version because it's really nice to see them supporting older hardware and the fact that it runs really well just adds a extra touch to it. So of course Android 5.0 wouldn't exactly be complete without material design and we do have it here despite the older hardware. It's really nice to see Google adding the material design elements and not omitting certain transitions or animations just because it's an older S4 Pro. This thing still runs pretty well and the new animations definitely don't really bog it down at all I would say. The material design all over the place looks really hot you can see we've got the matching status bar with the header up top and the blue just looks really good and again we can see it in the clock we've got the purple on purple and of course as the day goes by it's going to go from a bright blue to a darker purple and then eventually gray if we swipe on over and hit google plus we can also see we've got the red and just everything here looks really nice and although the display, you know, is okay, it still looks really good on the older hardware. As mentioned, performance is actually really nice on here when you're doing things that aren't too intensive. Uh, Android 5.0 is a real pleasure to use on the older hardware. Now the only, you know, kind of, I guess, gripe I would say is the fact that because the camera is more of a hardware thing, it's not gonna be really too updated, if updated at all, which is just a little bit of a bummer because the camera on the Nexus 4 was never too great. But again, it's nice to see that you're getting Android 5.0 and all its glory here at all though. Uh, but that was just, you know, a minor complaint, but not really against Android 5.0, just in the fact that the Nexus 4 is aging and despite you're getting the new OS, you're still gonna have that sort of older, not so great camera. So in Android 5.0, you've got support for the multicolored header bar and the status bar in the Chrome browser, which looks really good. And here on Droid Life, you can see they've decided to make theirs pink. And it looks really good, especially in the multitasking area, which again, you've also got the new look for. And I hope that more uh, websites decide to take advantage of that. That way you have more color going on in the multitasking area because that would be really, really nice. So playing games on here is gonna be really nice. As you can see here, this is Smash Hit, and I'm a little bit further in the game here. I did notice a little bit of hiccups here and there when I was trying to hit some of the pyramids off to the side. Uh, nothing that may show up on camera, but I definitely noticed it while playing the game. Uh, but I didn't really notice it to be too bad. Now, if you're playing less intensive games, maybe like one of my more favorite games, Two Dots, as of now, uh, you're going to notice that everything is really smooth. The animations are really nice, and uh, if the game developers, you know, take advantage of 5.0 and optimize their apps uh, however they need to, it's definitely going to be a really nice experience to go ahead and play some smaller, you know, less intensive games on the older hardware. And for any of you RAM junkies out there, because I know some of you like to know how much RAM is available, this is uh, how much RAM is available. I've got about a gig and a half after I installed my games and I've played them and opened them and they're kind of running in the background. So in case you guys are wondering, that is what my RAM looks like. And of course, if you pull down once and then tap the top, you get your new quick toggles, which are really nice and convenient. I really enjoy the flashlight and the portrait orientation as well as Wi-Fi. So that's pretty much going to end the video. That was Android 5.0 Lollipop running on the older Nexus 4. By the way, I will leave a link to this skin down below in case you guys are interested in getting one. Uh, but Android 5.0 is a really nice upgrade for aging hardware. It definitely brings it up to date and smooths out some of the kinks that KitKat brought with it. Uh, gameplay is going to be pretty nice unless it's uh, heavy gaming. Uh, the camera, of course, and unfortunately, isn't really going to look that good. But anyway, Android 5.0 is a sweet upgrade for the older Nexus 4. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe down there for more. 
and don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, and Instagram, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.